Hi kids, I'm Fat Papa Fei Papa. I hope you have a good weekend. This is Sunday section. We talk about speech therapy. And last week we talk about a story about my son and how the speech therapy it is. And today we will talk about how the processing for the my son from beginning to he graduate. Last week I already say that why my son need to see the doctor. Then how is the whole processing from beginning until he graduate? At the beginning we will talk to our general doctor. Then they can refer us to the speech therapy department. And after that, they will give us a lot of the question need to fill out. It's, some of them is really detailed. Some of them is about my son's behave, or like let's say how many words your kid can speak in one sentence. So like if he can speak one word, two word, or the whole full sentence, or the whole paragraph, and at like last video, I say my son at two and a half years old, he still can only speak one word at a time. So water, it's not I want water, it's water. Sleep, eat, just like that, and then nothing. You cannot know anything after that. Eat what? What you want to eat? No, he just say eat or water. Just like that, but now I think that for those I still remember, it's very really cute and funny. At the at that time, like when he is two and a half years old, we kind of fragile and worry about him. We do not know what happened because he is our first kid and. We worry is that something wrong, or he cannot speak, or hearing has problem, or whatever reason. So we fill out all the questions and then we mail back, or you can drop off to the speech therapy department in your area, and uh, we mail to them, and then uh, they call us back follow up, and then tell us to make an appointment to see the real speech therapy. Then um, that day we go there. My son will talk to the speech therapy doctor, and then um, me and my wife will sit at the back uh, in the room and then just can watch. And then they tell us we cannot talk to him when they do the evaluation. So like, let's say that uh, the doctor tell him to uh, what is a uh, table, what is uh, the show the picture. Uh, one dot, one care, which one is dot, and then t tell him to point at it like that, and then we cannot like try to help him or say anything, just be silent. And then um, the whole evaluation probably about twenty-five to thirty minutes. They do a lot of things, and I don't give detail because, like I say, I'm not professional. Like. I don't know what I say is correct or is that all the doctors do the same kind of evaluation. So, but like after the whole evaluation and then they give us like a, a file for all the information. First of all, we have two options. Um, the first option is like we do the uh, speech therapy class for our kid in the hospital. Mm, that one, uh, each time we need to pay the copay is like not really full cover. And uh, the second one is like we can do it is go to the uh, your own school district, and then I will talk about both because uh, end up we first our first kid we really worry and end up we go to the uh, school district. Um, actually, uh, in California there is three. It's like no extra fee or anything as long as you in, you, you are in that school district. Like uh, they will provide this service, and then like, but we also go to the uh, hospital one. Uh, we pay each time, and yet it's uh every week one time, uh for the um 
hospital, uh, they provide that one, uh, we pay, is one hour. Uh, the whole California kind of the same, it's one hour. And then for the school district, uh, as I research, right, they should be half hour. For the uh, each, each week have one meeting, and then it's half hour. <coughs> So uh, we go to both and then first of all uh, for the uh, hospital uh, that one uh, we need to choose uh, which uh, speech therapy center we want to go in only the city we live is already have three or four options so it's not like uh, limited and also before we make the first appointment I never think that many kids go to see the speech therapy. I thought my kid is something wrong and then need to see it. So I'm really worried about it. And after we try to call the center and then make the uh, first appointment, I cannot believe what I have from them. They open Monday to Friday, nine to five, the one we go is like that and each section is one hour it's about one hour like 55 minutes because I, uh, after that, that they need to clean up for a uh, next kid and you can count uh, 9 to 5 uh, minus one hour for lunch and then uh, for five days he has full booking and just like uh, the speech therapy told us that is really common because now um, we are in United States of America. This is a free land and a lot of immigration, a lot of the kids has multi-language. And that is like kind of like make the kid late to like how to speak English or to communicate with other people. And so they have food okay. And I cannot imagine that at the beginning. <clears throat> and then like, another problem is like we are really hard to if like we cannot make it on that day, we need to skip one week right? and then we cannot switch it because like they are full book and then the schedule really tight. Anyway, so uh, we go to that one and first because uh, for the school district before you can get that service, that has a few more steps. And uh, for the uh, hospital one, they are a little bit easier. You just go there and then like, um, you pay for the uh, fee each time you visit. And then they will uh, bring the kid. It's one-on-one, -on -one, one uh, speech therapy to one kid. And then they will teach my kid how to say more than one word at the beginning then one sentence and they are not just teach my kid how to speak they will see my kid's action and then to correct him like he may uh, feel mad and sad and he won't talk he just like maybe push around or like throw the toy like that and then they will teach him come down or time out or a lot of things like try to Tell him if he want to communicate something, he need to talk, not action. I really think those speech therapy is really professional, and then they are really patient to the kid. I tell you, my kid, my son at the beginning is kind of worse for me, but I see they spend a lot of time really patient to all the kids. Not just my speech, my son's speech therapy. I wait at the uh, waiting room and I can see other speech therapy to the kids all the same. They were really patient and the process, I see they are not all the same because sometimes like my son's speech therapy, like absent, like maybe sick, like we have another teacher. And then um, the way they teach, a little bit different but like end up the, the main goal is same so but they are really professional i want to say thank you in this video to all those speech therapy that helped my son 
now he graduate and he spend over two years keep going to all the class like not non-stop all the time like we may skip one or two times like he's sick or we really cannot make it that they have like school has some event like that stretcher but that is how it is like for the uh, hospital side and then um, it's almost time I need to end for this section and it will have a part 2 and if you watch my other video you know I'm new to YouTube I cannot give the video more than 15 minutes so uh, I will have the part 2 the link will be below and if you like my video please click like and then subscribe below I will upload video every week Wednesday and Sunday speech therapy session now will be on Sunday and then uh, Wednesday I have like another topic talking about uh, asthma I will see you in part 2 thank you